Welcome to this week's Tech Tip, where we'll take a look at how we can find and machine features that exist on custom CPLs. The first thing we'll do before we get started is open up the view properties and turn on our axes so that we can see our CPLs more clearly. In the example here, we have our G54 CPL that represents the top plane, G55 for the highlighted open pocket feature here, G56 for the angled face, G57 for the angled face on the opposite side, and finally G58 for the open pocket on the opposite side. Now let's go to the Feature tab and open up the Feature Finder. For the sake of this exercise, we've already found and machined the features on the top G54 CPL, and all we're concerned with is roughing the features that exist on our four custom CPLs, which in this case consist of only open pocket, open mill, and vertical hole features. With those options checked, let's now open the Select Planes dialog where we can select our custom CPLs that we'd like to find features on. Then press OK and OK again. If we now take a look at the features list, we can see that our new features are listed under their respective CPLs. With the features created, we can now move to the Machining tab and open up the Sequence window. We already have some operations in the list that were created to machine the top of our part, and in order to keep the workspace clean, I've already turned off the visibility of the tool pass by right-clicking and unchecking the visibility option. We can go a step further to simplify the list by highlighting all the sequences for G54 and adding them to their own group. The next thing we need to do is make sure the tool retracts to a safe level before indexing by using the Move to Tool Change command. From the Move Tool drop-down, select Tool Change, and then OK on the dialog. Now we will select a tool by clicking on the Tool Store and choosing a 3 8 end mill from the list. We'll give it a tool position and press OK. Next, select the Move Tool drop-down again, and this time choose Index. From the Index dialog, Use the drop-down to select the G55 CPL and press OK. We will now choose the rough mill operation, set the parameters as desired, and press OK. When prompted to select the features to machine, we can simplify the selection by rendering the features, and we can also pick the features directly from the features list to ensure that we're selecting from the proper CPL. Once the toolpath is generated, we can see that the orientation is correct for the selected feature. We can now repeat these steps to rough the remaining features, first moving to tool change to give us clearance, and then indexing to the proper CPL for each feature. With the roughing operations now created on our four custom CPLs, we can open up simulation and take a look at how the machine tool is indexing and machining these features. As you can see from the example here, Using the Select Planes option in the Feature Finder is a simple and effective way to both find and machine features that exist on custom CPLs. As always, we hope you found this tech tip helpful, and until next time, stay productive.